Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. Actually, I'm so nervous right now because it's been a while since I filmed a video for you. But anyway, this is Tiffany from TV Butter. I'm back! Um, it's been two months. I had fun. I had a good rest. And it's because I had this ongoing renovation upstairs for over a month since I came back from China on my vacation. And it just, it was so loud. It, they, they were drilling and just consist, consistently dropping stuff on the floor. So it wasn't the best or ideal environment for me to film a video for you guys. So that's why I took a break and it was fantastic. I, I had fun. I enjoyed. Um, so anyway, I will do a journal with me so I can share everything with you. I, I can't wait, seriously, because when I start talking, I am so talkative. But anyway, in today's video, in today's video, I'm going to introduce my new bag to you all. So let me grab the bag, just right beside me, and here it is. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's from... Bung Huken or Bung Huchen. And this is the collaboration between Bung Huken and the Superior Labor. If you follow me on my IG or Instagram, which you should, you will know that um, I love these two brands. I am in love with these two websites, Bung Huken and the Superior Labor. Um, they always provide well-made good quality products and their product just lasts forever it's a very long lasting a little bit pricey one so in today's video i'm going to introduce you like briefly what's the size of this bag and what can i put inside this bag so this bag is actually a gift from my husband thank you so much <laughs> um, so it's for our two years anniversary and our birthday. I still need to get him a birthday gift. I haven't know, I don't know what it will be yet, but he got me this. This is even smaller than the S Sharp S. Um, I'm not sure the dimension, which I will also link it down below if I can find the information. I will link all the information down below so uh, but I'm pretty sure this bag is even smaller than the extra small engineer bag but it's slightly bigger than a petite toe which I happened to have a petite toe right here as you can see right away is is bigger than the petite toe um, and the other thing is I think that's it <laughs> it's uh, that's that's the reason why I call it medium size because it's between engineer bag and petite toe. If you are looking for a daily handbag or an on the go bag, I highly recommend this. Of course, and you must be willing to spend that kind of money, that kind of amount of money on a bag. It I believe is two hundred twenty US dollar, and after the conversion, which is really bad right now to Canadian dollars, I believe is two ninety something or two sixty. I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, the color they have four or five colors on the website. Um, I was going to buy the salmon plus beige color or the navy plus uh, olive color. Those two colors are so amazing. I mean, all the colors are so ma amazing. They have the beige plus blue. They have the um, this mustard color plus a kind of like orange bottom as well so i believe there are four or five colors out there on the website but this color just caught my eyes and my heart right away so i chose this one so this one as you can see it has the uh, mustard darker yellow on the body and the bottom is the white pure white paint is um i can say i think it's pretty like bright white um, which I was con had a little bit concerned because I I th 
think it will um, get dirty pretty easily so I have to wipe the bottom every time I use otherwise it just adds characteristic which I don't mind either and this bag is just let me just show you the whole comparison um, the difference between the medium size I mean this and the large bag and the petite toe so this is the petite toe let me just squeeze it down um, I had this petite toe for two years now I believe and I carry it with me every single day every single day it went through a lot of stuff with me for example I think I I had talked I talked about this story before in my in one of my video but I had to mention it again because it's super high quality and well made honestly um, this one day I there's nothing in the back I only put a bubble tea you guys know that I love milk tea and bubble tea so I got one for myself and then with those you know plastic cup and then I put it in my petite toe and then I put the bag on my seat and then I went out of the car um, go I went to the bank and came back and I totally forgot there is a milk tea in my bag How dumb was I like seriously? I forgot there's a milk tea in the bag. So I just literally sit on it um, And then all I heard was a little like crack <laughs> So I'm like, oh My milk tea is still in the bag <laughs> and then I just pull it out and of course the plastic cup was broken already and milk tea everywhere inside the bag everywhere so I was literally like holding a bag of milk tea with just literally water in it uh, or tea in it um, so I was like oh what can I do what can I do so my husband is like ah you should just you know uh, throw it on the grass or, you know dump it on the grass on the field so we literally just carry the bag of water and then walked to a backyard or something like a yarn or something and then I just dump it there um, so this story told me how high quality it is because no water was dripping no water was dripping out and even though I pour the whole bag with milk tea I went home I just use a wet cloth and then I just wipe it and it was it was like brand new like seriously this bag was this bag had gone through a lot of stuff <laughs> because my of my stupidness what but whatever so this is the story behind this little petite toe uh, and this is why I love it so much because it's super high quality I seriously five days a week I carry this bag with me and I just put my lunch box I put my um, my wallet and I put my little little I don't know what's it called like a little pouch with all my necessary stuff like coins bag and lipstick lip balm and eye job you know that kind of stuff I carry those to work so I just throw everything in this little petite toe and I carry it to work and I carry it with me every single day um, as you can see I might just need to give you oh here <laughs> you guys a closer look so if you can see if I flip it the um, oh my god what's going on <laughs> the leather is kind of like worn off um, it's, it's warning out but yeah it but from the outside the leather is still perfect it looks it looks really good and that's what's inside the toe bag as you can see it's pretty dirty and in the toe bag it has this little pocket but that's it and it has of course this external leather pocket as well so that's basically how the design goes and it has all the um, embossing and stamping and this little buckle thing and it has the brass superior labor logo in the corner which is not focusing okay here you go so I um and the color I believe this one is the beige plus white oh, no, beige plus the red paint on the bottom I'm going to show you the bottom it just it's a little bit dirty but yeah 
it's just not really the color is still very uh vivid and it doesn't I don't, I don't see any loose paint or whatever maybe in the corner just a little bit but of course it's been two years right and I seriously carry this with me every single day. This is my on-the-go little petit toe. I'm not going to bring this back with me every single day because I don't know. It just, I still want to use my petit toe for my daily life, but this one is for special occasion, not special occasion. Maybe it's just I, whenever I go out on a weekend, I will carry this back with me. But anyway, um, you can see a little bit of the size comparison so if you own a petit toe already and you are thinking about to purchase the analog bag this is the size comparison and uh, the difference is it comes with this leather strap like a belt kind of thing so i already adjusted a little bit um where this piece of leather gonna go so if it just lays on my shoulder um at the perfect point so it's kind of like release sort of some kind of weight from your shoulder so help your shoulder just you know stretch a little bit so I think that's really really thoughtful and then it has five holes of the buckle of course you can adjust them adjust it uh, the length until you are satisfied about the look but for now I am going um, the second from the right. I mean, it's pretty short and of course all the buckles are brass really really super high quality Super sturdy. Uh, you kind of need, need to push a little bit to open the buckle, which is amazing <laughs> I love it and the leather is kind of, is different though. Um, this one is the nude color and this one on the petit toe is the brown color so it's not like after the sun tan it becomes so dark no it's the brown color on the petit toe on my back but i think you can customize your petit toe anyway um so it's the same thing it has two leather handle and then it has an external pocket as you can see the color already starting to change a little bit is it focusing okay because i keep playing yesterday i keep like putting things in here and then take it out and then in the corner it has the sam brass logo of the shapiro labor from 19 no it's 19 ss so i think that means 2019 summer and spring collection <laughs> and then it says leathers and coal and it has the series number or back number. Mine is SL002 and labor in the bottom. And it was secured with a matching color as the bottom, which is the white stitching. And on my petite toe, they use the matching color as my handle and the external pocket, leather pocket. So yeah, it just, all the details are so well thought. Um, when you receive the bag, you don't see a messy color combination. It's so neat, so clean, and super high quality. It totally fits whatever outfit you're wearing. I just love the combination so much. And on the other side, it of course, it has the stamping. It has the standard and strong superior labor leather and coal stamping made in Japan. And if you opened the bag, um, it's basically the same layout. The only difference is it has a zipper here. You can either close it or you can just, you know, leave it open like this. If you want to put a taller like water bottle like mine, probably I cannot close my uh, zipper, which I don't really mind. Um, and then inside the bag, it has the same thing. It has a matching color, internal pocket, and with their logo stitching inside. So yeah, it's super sturdy. And you can see it has a basic structure. It's kind of like a square, which I love. I love everything with a structure, everything with a shape. I don't like floppy, too floppy, basically. 
So this bag is really my favorite right now. Um, I love the color, I love the look of it, I especially love the size of it. It's so daily carry. So now let me put stuff in here. Oh, by the way, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot this. So what comes with the bag? Of course, there's something came with the bag. So with the bag, of course, you will have a receipt like this from Bang Hukun. Every time they have a little envelope, kind of like origami paper folder, uh, where you can, where they put a little card, and this is your receipt. It's so 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 beautiful. And every time I receive their products, I will put this receipt in my journal. So this, uh, well, this came with the bag. And they also provide a big linen bag to you. So when you are not using the bag, you can put the bag back in this linen bag. So just kind of like keep it clean. And on the back, it has their logos on it as well. It's so thoughtful, so elegant. And I just love the fact that they even provide a dust Bag. I think that's what they call a dust bag because I never purchased a bag with a dust bag. <laughs> um, so that is everything that came with the analog bag. So now let me just put them aside and start to fill up or fill out, fill out, fill up, right? Fill up my bag. So first, of course, I will have my Truffles Notebook. This is my beloved Olive Edition Truffles Notebook. And I'm still finishing my journal. I'm trying to journal every single day, but I just cannot. I'm so sorry. So um, after I finish the journal, I will film a flip through. And then I'm going to make a junk journal with you guys. So if you are interested to see the making process, please leave a comment down below so I know that what kind of what type of junk journal that I will be making. But anyway, this is my Travelers notebook. I love the Olive Edition so much, and because at the back it has all my stamps um, when I attend the um, paper yard like convention, not convention, like a gathering or meeting. Um, it was fun, it was fun. So anyway, I put my Travelers notebook in here, as you can see. And then I have my pen pouch. Um, I know there's a lot of people have asked me, where did you get this one, where did you get this one? I have to look it up because I totally forgot the name. I All I know is I found it from Rakuten, I think that is one of the biggest online shop from Japan. I found it there and it it is worthwhile shipping. So I will link the link down below if I can find it. So yeah, problem solved. I always forget about this. Okay, so this is my pen, pen case or pencil pouch. And of course I have to have my wallet. I'm currently using Another superior labor product. This is kind of like a, I don't know, like a pouch kind of thing. I'm currently using this as my wallet. So in here, I just have um, my Onigo fountain pens. Two on the outside pocket and three on the inside. It has three um, pen holder kind of stuff to hold your fountain pen, to hold your fountain pens. And then on the other side, I have some cashy and I have all my IDs and credit card and debit card, etc. and gift cards and things like that. So yeah, this is my wallet right now. I'm going to put it here. Then of course, I have to have my hand cream. And this is the little pouch that I showed you before. Um, I just put little stuff in here like my key. I have my eye job, uh, lip balms and lipstick and you know like small stuff so I put everything in there and I like to tuck it over here and because I like to have my bag closed that's why I'm going to put my water bottle like so 
and I just need to pull this up and all I have to do is to close it yes it looks like this it has everything um, yeah it's perfect look at this it's perfect and it just still so gorgeous oh my gosh the canvas is the sturdiest canvas that I've ever purchased in my whole life um, I mean of course the petite toe has the same canvas and I love it I love it love it it just it shows the high quality and the idea and the passion behind this brand and it's just wonderful. It, I'm just so glad and so happy that I discovered this brand. I'm so happy that they got famous, it got popular, and I'm so happy that like a lot of websites like Bunghuken and Wonder Pants and even, even Nomado store. I think that store is in Europe. They have different collaboration with um, the superior labor and they literally brought this brand into our world <laughs> um you know on the side of the earth um i'm just so thankful so grateful for them i love this brand i truly truly love this brand i love this from the bottom of my heart i will say that and this is my ultimate forever go-to brand if i have like 200 200 or 300 budget spare money if i save that enough i would definitely purchase some products like this of course I you know you have to need it first but yeah I need a bag and I asked my husband to buy it for me <laughs> because I'm sure I will like it um, so and yeah and he got this for me and I'm so happy he was he said that I have to wait until like you know my, our anniversary which is um, on May 7 to receive this bag or even June 7 our birthday together to receive this bag but I told him like no I have to have this bag and I won't say anything I won't ask for anything else I just have to have this bag right away because I just can't wait to hold this bag in my hands and I, I am right I was right it's so lovely I just love it I really really do Anyway, so this is kind of like a long, I know, chatty review on this bag. And you know that what's in my bag right now. I hope you enjoy this video. So on my next video, probably I am going to do a journal with me. So kind of like talking to you guys. I know it's been a long time. That's why I want to film a video. Just me talking in the background um, to kind of explain my situation and what's my plan and what I'm going to do because it's been so quiet on my social media and I really want to catch up with that but yeah stay tuned um, and I still have a lot more videos different ideas that I want to achieve in the future like you know uh, my planner I I just can't, I just want to show you guys a lot of stuff. My planner, I received this planner like a couple months ago. It's from a vendor's pack. I filmed a video on this planner and the current setup, but and then I just forgot about it because I wasn't confident enough to show you guys. And now um, I just need to do a little bit adjustment on the insert because I start to realize I have way more and I have some checking uh, insert that I am not currently using so I want to get rid of that and I also want to do like another little review on the Hobonichi medium drawer pouch and this is another pouch that I received on the other day I want to do a little comparison on this too because I've been using them for a while now and I want to show you guys what's Different. What what are the dif What are the difference and what are these? What's it called similarity? And yeah, I want to do that as well. And I want to share with you a lot of stuff like current reading and journal, uh, my travelers notebook, um, my junk journal situation. Yeah, there's a lot. And I also want to do watercolors you know with me kind of video because that was so fun. I feel like that was the beginning of this channel like how I 
what I did, what I've done in the past, and I want to catch up with that as well. But anyway, it's been so long. This video has been so long. I want to let you guys go and yeah, stay tuned for my next video and thank you, thank you so much for joining me today or if you can leave a comment down below, I would be very appreciated. Um, just tell me how's going, what's going on in your life and what's your favorite stationery supplies or yeah, what's your current favorite, favorite. So I might take a look and I might purchase that as well because I cannot say no, I cannot resist any good stuff, good supply. Uh, so anyway, this is today's video and I hope you guys have a great day, have a great weekend because today is Friday and it's also my Friday. I finally, I can have two days off and yeah, um, I hope you have a fantastic day and see you guys in my next video soon. Bye-bye.